They say nothing is as powerful as a mother's love. For Doreen Giuliano, that would prove true. He's an innocent man, and uh, to know him is to love him. I'm John's mom. I'm his voice. I'm John's voice. This is the story of one mother's quest to try to prove her son's innocence after he's convicted of a heinous murder and the lengths she would go to to set him free. I was willing to look like a prostitute. You don't let your children down. You fight for your children. It started in Brooklyn in 2003 when 19-year-old Mark Fisher turned up dead. Tonight, police are trying to figure out who murdered a 19-year-old college Mark student. Mark Fisher's bullet-riddled body was found on the streets of Brooklyn, New York. Mark Fisher was young, he was tall, he was an up-and-coming football player at his university, and he came to the city for fun. He just wanted to have a good time, and he ends up dead in Brooklyn. Earlier that night, he was out with college friends, bar hopping in New York City. As the night wears on, Mark heads to an after party in Brooklyn at the house of John Juca, someone Mark had just met that night. Tell me your first impression of Mark Fisher. To tell you the truth, we, he just had a, a personality that was likable. I thought he was cool and that's it. Was he intoxicated? Yeah, he was drunk. Were you? Yes. These kids are sitting around drinking, smoking weed, and Antonio Russo, a neighborhood kid, sort of known to cops in the area for some drug dealing, and uh, came to the party. Was there any tension between Antonio Russo and Mark Fisher that night? No, not that I saw. As the sun begins to rise, Mark is asked to leave the house party. He leaves the house, and he's next seen dead. Mark's body was found two blocks away from John Juca's house. I cry and I, you know, I just say, why? I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Why would somebody do this to him? I mean, he was just such a good person. Just about an hour before he died, he went to a convenience store and took out cash, just 20 bucks, at 5.25 a.m., and then walks back to the party. But the key detail is who goes on the ATM run with him? Antonio Russo. The wallet was missing from Mark Fisher's body, so that created the suspicion that uh, it was uh, a robbery. The 19-year-old's body was found wrapped in a blanket at the end of a driveway there at that home, Argyle Road. The blanket found with the body came from the Juca home. That becomes a critical starting point for investigators. You got a call. I got a call from John. And what did he say? He said, Ma, you need to come home. And I said, is everything OK? And he said, y you need to come home. And so you get home frantic. What's the scene here? The press was on my lawn. Already? Yeah. And uh, detectives were on my porch. But detectives aren't only closing in on John. They're looking at Antonio Russo, too. So there's a whole lot of smoke around Antonio Russo and John Juca, but there's nothing that directly, forensically ties them to the crime scene. No DNA, no fingerprints. Nearly a year goes by with no arrests, but then... Now, Eyewitness News at 5. A college football star found dead more than a year without an arrest. Now police say they've captured his killer. Hey, they got the right guy? Well, How'd you do it? Any comment, Anthony? What'd you do with the gun? He killed him for 20 bucks, Antonio. In November of 2004, 13 months after the murder, Antonio Russo was arrested. One of Russo's first comments after he's arrested is, are you going to arrest the others as well? And they say, well, who do you mean? He goes, oh, no, 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 never mind. One month later in December, while he's returning from Christmas shopping, John Juke is arrested as well. Did you give Antonio Russo the gun that night? No. Did you put him up to it? Absolutely not. Did you have anything to do with the murder of Mark Fisher? No, I had nothing to do with the murder of Mark Fisher. So you believe the police arrested the wrong man? I know they arrested the wrong man. I know it. Fast forward to 2005, John Juca and Antonio Russo are on trial for this homicide. You sat in the courtroom every day? Yes. Was there any forensic evidence linking your son to the murder? Zero. Zero. This case was 
on testimony only. He said, she said, testimony only. You had his longtime friend, one of his best friends, testify against him. Al Cleary got up on the witness stand and said that you had a 22 pistol, the same yeah, caliber right, as right. the murder weapon. Yes. And he also said that you gave Antonio Russo the gun and told him to show Mark what's up. That's so ridiculous. I can't, I don't even, that's, that's not my vocabulary. As the trial went on, here comes this special um, witness, John Avito. This jailhouse informant says that John Juca confesses to pistol whipping Mark Fisher, and somebody else grabs the gun and shoots him. So it puts John Juca right on the scene of the crime. And when he got up on the stand and said that you confessed to him, I was so totally shocked, but I thought that the jury would easily be able to see through it. After the prosecution made its case, it was then the turn of the defense. But as it turned out, that neither the defense for Mr. Juca nor for Mr. Russo opted to call anyone to the stand. They rested their case. That was that. It's only an hour and a half later, and the jury comes back in and says, guilty is charged. And John Juca's taken out in handcuffs. It was torment. I turned white like a ghost, and I could not believe it. It was like my brain wouldn't even accept it. John is found guilty of felony murder and sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. I'm devastated, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. I'm never going to give up. John is innocent. And she's already starting to think, how can I fix this? And she's not going to stop thinking that until she comes up with a plan. When there's an injustice, fight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.